Spatial economics isn't just a buzzword, it's a transformative approach to understanding how our physical space and economy interact. It's about analyzing how location impacts economic activities, and how these activities, in turn, shape our environment. In today's discussion, I'll explain the basics of spatial economics and its critical role in promoting sustainability. At its core, spatial economics examines the distribution of resources and people across different geographical areas. By mapping out these patterns, researchers can pinpoint where inefficiencies or opportunities lie. For instance, understanding the economic impacts of urban sprawl can help in crafting policies that encourage more sustainable urban development. Let's consider transportation, a sector where spatial economics plays a vital role. Efficient public transport systems reduce reliance on personal vehicles, which decreases carbon emissions and traffic congestion. By applying spatial economic models, cities can optimize routes and schedules to maximize usage and minimize environmental impact. Research published in the Journal of Environmental Economics and Management highlights the effectiveness of using spatial economic principles to allocate renewable resources efficiently. This study shows how proper spatial planning ensures that renewable energy sources like wind and solar are not only installed, but are also integrated in a way that maximizes their environmental and economic benefits. Now, how can we use this knowledge? By integrating spatial economic data into policymaking, governments can create more targeted interventions. For instance, zoning laws can be tailored to encourage sustainable practices, such as green building standards or preservation of green spaces. In conclusion, spatial economics offers a lens through which we can view our world more clearly. By understanding the spatial dynamics of economic activities, we can forge paths towards more sustainable futures, enhancing both our living conditions and the health of our planet.